My name is Amanda Isles. I am a freelance Benish choreologist and stager, and I've been working with professional dance companies, both ballet and contemporary, for 30 years. I trained in Benish in 1987, and uh, I'm still using it now. So Benish is such a wonderful tool to assist in, in so many ways, both in the creation of new work, but also with the reproduction of work once it has been created. People very often ask me, what's the need for notation now that we have such sophisticated video and filming resources? And interestingly, I think it still has a very important role to play. A video will give you a version of one person doing the choreography, whereas the, what the notation will bring is another whole layer, many layers in fact, of information, specifically information that came from the choreographer about intention, about what you're actually aspiring to do. Um, dance is a, a living, breathing thing, and on any given day, any performance may well be different. And therefore, if you're following a video from one performance, you're only looking at one interpretation. And so I love having the score available in the rehearsal process so that I can add information, I can really add value. And also I know that I am assisting in helping maintain the integrity of the work, the, the what the choreographer really was trying to achieve. Um, which may be very difficult and we may not quite get there, but we know what we're trying for. So we're super lucky at the um, Royal Ballet that we have full-time notators working with us in the studio. And you know that dance is a very um, collaborative art form and one of the unsung heroes of dance making are the notators. And I thought it'd be really nice for us to get an insight into what is notation, what do notators do, and how do they kind of recreate the work when the choreographer's not in the room? So I just wanted to explain a little bit because people often say to me, or oh, notation isn't that just for sort of ballet and, you know, nutcracker, the nutcracker form of ballet. And, um, and they sort of puzzled as to how I could possibly notate Wayne's movement. And the thing is, movement, in the same way that choreographic movement has evolved and developed over many years, notation as a language has evolved and developed as well. And we have a huge body of information that we can capture in the notation. And working with Wayne, which is a fascinating process, I always feel it's a little bit like a, like a sculptor who starts with a kind of wire frame and build, you build layers and layers. And when you end up with the finished product, you don't, those individual layers are not discernible, but they are nevertheless essential to that finished product. And what I'm trying to capture in the notation is those layers so that we don't lose that detail. Wayne is incredibly detailed when he's creating, gives the dancers a huge amount of information. And so for me, it's a real pleasure to be able to input that depth of information into when we're working with an alternate cast, when we come back to a piece on its second viewing, as it were, and we have alternate casts, new casts. It's, it's a real pleasure to be able to sort of give them all those layers of information. With notation, you have kind of three elements of the information. You have what the body is doing, you have the relation of that movement to the music or the sound, and then you have your relationship in space and to the other people on stage. And so the sort of the way your energy is directed and how that interacts with everybody else, you can very easily put into the score. So um, it's, a, it's a great tool to have in the studio and it's, uh, it's lovely that Wayne appreciates it so much. Yeah, so it's, it's, a good, it's a good kind of collaboration, it's good synergy, I think.